September 11th is a day that will be ingrained in all Americans' hearts. Recently, the City Hall and the Mayor's Office remembered the 10th anniversary. John Kuplaus and the VFW Honor Guard and the Brockton Firefighters Pipe and Drums for all being with us this morning. Like many historic events, the impact of September 11, 2001 can be felt in our hearts, in our minds, and in our communities. Those events have inspired poems, songs, films, documentaries, books, and television shows that illuminate not just what happened, but how forever our lives have changed as a result of the events of that morning. There are children who have grown up not seeing a parent, parents who have gone without hearing from a son or daughter, spouses who have not heard from a husband and wife, and first responders who have lived with the void of fallen comrades. We will never forget that day. There is loyalty in the simple act of remembrance, and that's what we're about today. And I think it's especially pointed that I see so many of our Girl Scouts out here. My, my daughter's a Girl Scout, and so I, I notice we've got several different groups here today, but if you look at these young people, these young girls, uh, I would say the vast majority of them uh, were not with us 10 years ago. And so the only memory that they will have of September 11th is the mem memory that Mayor Belzotti and the town, the city of Brockton and the families here today provide for them. But it, it is an important day in our history and one that must be passed on from generation to generation. These people that were the terrorists they came to our country. They used our resources. They took flight instruction at our schools. They boarded our planes, filled with our people, and they crashed into our towers. It was despicable. How do you fight against something like that? I think the best way is we don't forget what happened but we also don't become like them. We can't afford to be filled with hate. It has so changed us in our feelings of trust and vulnerability and looking for somebody to hold responsible. Certainly we have to be guarded. We have to take whatever precautions and fight the good fight, but we can't become hate-filled. Eyewitness accounts from the survivors speak of the silent gray firefighters climbing step by step up the towers as everyone else was climbing down from them. As they climbed higher, <clears throat> they could see their fate was sealed. But true to their own, they steadfastly continued their rescue efforts. Unconditional acts of kindness were delivered by civilians as well as public safety officers. At 9.55 that morning, we watched as the South Tower slowly collapsed 110 floors to the street below. 40 minutes later, the North Tower collapsed, pulverizing every living thing in its path. Grown men stood around me with tears in their eyes as they watched their comrades in arms, lives vanish in thin air. Having attended many firefighter line of duty deaths, and a memory still fresh from the Worcester tragedy, this was just unfathomable to look at. Ten years later, they are still dying from the exposure to the toxic dust that was inhaled that day at Ground Zero. In closing, with all the problems we have today, I ask you to step back and perform a random act of kindness to someone. This would be a way to truly honor the sacrifices made that day. Thank you. I, 